Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. All right, before anything, I want to thank everyone who's been subscribing to my channel. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the videos. Thank you so much for all those thumbs up and people that's been subscribing and you following my channel. Thank you. I do this with a lot of passion. I'm glad people are. Oops, sorry, lost a bit of a. There it goes. I'm glad everybody's enjoying them. Now let's see what we got for you today. Let me try and make this video a bit clear. There it goes. All right, we got a beautiful 143 scale Peugeot 508. Now this is a late model Peugeot 508, but this is, you know, Peugeot came up this style lately. They have this type of grill. Most of the Peugeots in this era have this type of grill, kind of like a rectangular. And the back lights are most of them are the same. They have these lighting that I'm. Mean, I, it's hard to ex describe it, but I find them very attractive. I think they came out with a nice style. Peugeot kind of needed that for a while. They lost a bit of their looks for a while, but they came back and they came back with a good looking car. Good looking car and this is no exception to the and this white bright color I like it. I really find them very attractive. You know this by the way this is the first generation 508 and the first generation 508 it, it's been pr in productions between 2010 and 2018 but in Malaysia they made them until 2020 so you know they did because in Malaysia they they <coughs> excuse me they were made them in, they were made them Guru M Malaysia, this model. Just in case you wanted to know exactly how was it, why lasted longer in Asia than in Europe. Usually they do that. I noticed that in the usually third world countries, if it's not Asia or South America, they extend their models a little longer. You know, they extend. They want to make sure that. If they extend them a little longer because they probably could take a little bit more out of them you know some of these models still even till today's date they still look very modern I think it's very modern I don't know it's very bulky it's very it looks very solid like a big it's like a mid-size this is a mid-size car by the way it looks good I, I really really like it. it looks good These wheels, I don't know what size they are, but they are big for that die car, for that car, that cast. I'm not sure in real life what size wheels they used to, um, alloy wheels they used to put in. But very much, I like the lion right there. You see the true Peugeot. You want to make sure that lion is facing them. Alright guys, so I'm going to let this car go around a few times so you can have a nice look at this car so you can enjoy it.
All right, everyone. So, you know, I keep looking at the car, and I really, truly like it. I really like how it's made. It looks... You know how detailed it is? I'm going to show you something that I just noticed. I, this, I guess this car, in real life, has the... You know when you can see the speed that you're going right there by the windshield that reflects on your windshield? That's how detailed it is. It has that even that little thing that shows like it looks like it's part of the of the windshield of the of the car. I love those details. I really truly do. I wonder, have you ever drove these cars in person? I'm sure you see them around because they is only a few years old. But you know, have you ever drove one of these? Are they sold in your country? Yeah, I would love to hear all the stories that you have. By the way, do you collect diecast? You know, we all there's a lot of fans out there. We have to we have to make ourselves heard because you know, some people think that we're just collecting toys and these are not toys. Whoever collects these diecasts, they true do you really know how expensive they are and how detailed they are. That's another thing. Yeah, definitely. They're very detailed and they're expensive. So these are not toys that you buy in the in the in in uh in a toy store. Definitely, they're not. So, you know, if you haven't subscribed yet, I would, you know, love to see you subscribe and let me know what you want to see. That's another thing, guys. Let me know what you want to see. You know, if what cars you're expecting to see, what models you like. You know, if you if you look if you like more Asian cars or you like more the you know, European or the American cars. You know, a lot of people love those big muscle cars. Yeah, I would love to hear your, your you know, your interest. All right, guys. So, take care of yourselves. Very important, especially nowadays that we're going through weird times, <laughs> to say the least. But we're not going to, we're not going to go there in our channel because... We want to make this channel a bit of a distraction from the problems around. Alright, so take care of yourselves. And goodbye.